This is my video about my pottery wheel. My first attempt to make something that I thought was so complicated. It took me a long time to figure things out. As you can see the construction is three 4x4 four four cedar posts grooved with a support of plywood around the back side. Excuse the glare from the light. The top is an old piece of corium that I salvaged from a Habitat for Humanity reclaiming site and I paid $20 for it. The wheel head I got from a pottery instructor from an old wheel, a kick wheel that had been broken. So all it was was the head and the one inch diameter post that I put together and uh, worked into a 5 8 millimeter shaft. a steel shaft with two pillow block bearings. The connection piece I used, as you can see, is a bushing. It's actually two bushings. I fit a 5 8 diameter inside dimension bushing inside a 1 inch diameter bushing and tie them all together so that the bushing would hold would act as a connection piece and hold a 1 inch as well as a 5 8 the motor I used and the control that went with the motor came off of an old treadmill that I bought online off of Craigslist. And as, as you can see I had to make a box with a screen. I put a clear plastic cover on it because that way you can tell it. You can see the green light. That way you can tell when it's operational. So the treadmill, the way it works is I hooked up the controller making sure to not cut any wires. I've never done anything with electronics before so this is the first time operation for me and I just made sure that I clearly labeled all the wires when I disconnected them and that way I could find that way I could find the, the connections again once I took it all apart. The foot pedal I just manufactured it's pretty simple and what I did was I took the slider that came with the treadmill and I just hooked it up this way and so when it's pushed down the slider slides. And as you can see it turns. One thing I found I had to do was I had to cushion the bottom of the feet with some playroom foam. Stuff that looks like that. Just cut out pieces and screw them to the bottom. Making sure that the screw heads were hidden. The connection, once I took the treadmill apart, this is the frame of the treadmill, and all I did was cut the bottom part off where the motor used to be. Instead of trying to remount it with my own mounting system, I just cut the frame with a sawzall and worked it back and attached it to the piece of wood and it's fully adjustable. You can read the side of the motor, it's a 2.5 25 horsepower motor. It's uh, treadmills tend to work on a 90 volt DC motor, and they're pretty powerful, and they work really good at slow speeds, which is the reason that I chose this motor. That was the hardest part about making this project was picking a motor that would work well, that would have constant torque at low speeds. And if you try, I'm trying right now to slow this thing down, and I can't. The mechanical advantage of the belt helps a lot too. You can see I'm a little bit wobbly with the with one of my sprockets. I don't know what's going on there. But it seems to work out well. I haven't um, I haven't tried it yet with clay, 
and I know that once I go into really high speed, because the head is off, slightly off center, because it wasn't very well manufactured, it starts to shake. But it's up on a table right now, so maybe it'll be better if it's on the floor. If you're wondering what this wire is, this is the one wire that was left with the grounding wire that was left over from the whole connection and ended up being the green wire and all I did was splice it and make it longer and kind of left it on the floor. I haven't, nobody's been able to tell me, I actually haven't asked the question, what am I supposed to do with that wire? Maybe connect it to one of the metal parts on the, on the pottery wheel, I'm not sure. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. It was a, kind of a long process because it was all research and development, and I've never really done worked with um, pulleys before or electronics. But the electronics, actually, once you got the hang of it, once you made sure that you had all the wires, it was actually pretty easy. Um, the reason I bought a second-hand treadmill was um, I looked online, and there is a, um, a website called Treadmill Doctor that will sell you a motor, for approximately $170 and then buy you the control sell you the controller for approximately $200. So that's kind of expensive kind of expensive way to go. The treadmill that I bought was a Westlow and it cost 200 bucks and um, the wood cost about 35 bucks. All the connective pieces including the pulleys, the, the bolts and the pillow um, the pillow boxes for attaching the the shaft cost about a hundred bucks so all told the top the Corian top cost me twenty dollars so um, all together it was uh, it was around I guess it worked out with taxes and everything about four hundred bucks which is an expensive project but if I was to do it again I'd know how to save money and I'd probably do it cheaper I wouldn't build the frame to be so strong as you can see the bolts are really big and I didn't need and I could have used different material um, well, that's it. That's my that's my pottery wheel, and I'm hoping to try it soon. It's kind of snowy outside, and, I, and I'm not willing to take it out of the shop yet. Um, but when I'm ready and I get some clay, then I'm ready to try it. Any questions? Let me know.